Greetings and salivations everyone. I'm Krista. This is Fisher and welcome to Sea Rad. Today we have a review of some custom Grogu items from Crafty Nerd Designs including a custom lightsaber so stay tuned. And if you love our videos and want to see more please subscribe to our channel and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss seeing us in the future. Sea Rad. Well, hello, 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 everyone. Welcome. We hope everyone's doing totally rad today. We've got some really cool items to share with you from Crafty Nerd Designs, so we're just going to hop right into it. Fisher, I'm going to sit you to the side for the beginning here with Spud and Cal back there. All right? Yeah, that's cool. Good, because I'm going to need your help a little bit later, okay? All right. You go sit with your family. So those who have been following our channel know that I've been looking for a lightsaber for Fisher. And yes, I came across one on Etsy and I've got not one but two to show you guys here coming up. But before I do that, I wanted to share some of the other items that Crafty Nerd Designs has available in their Etsy shop because guys, They've got some really, really totally rad things. They do Baby Yoda 3D printed mashups like Baby Yoda and some other characters, and I've got one of those to show you. And they do this thing called a lithophane. I've actually never heard of these before, and when I opened it up in the package, I was like, wow, that just blew my mind. So I have one of those to show you as well. So I'm actually going to start with the little character mashup and if you know me you know not only do I love Baby Yoda Grogu, I also love Harry Potter. And guys, check this out. How super cute is that? This is a hand-painted Grogu Harry Potter mashup and it's a 3D printed resin figurine. The details on it are just amazing, guys. Look at his little wand. He's so cute. And the glasses, glasses up over his ears, kind of like little fishers. And he's got the scarf. He's got his Gryffindor scarf on, and he's on his broom. The details on the broom, just the paint job alone is just Oh, killer. I love it so, so much. And guys, the best part, you ready? He's got feeties. Look at his little feeties on the broom hanging off over there holding them on. So super cute and awesome, incredible. I love it. Now this comes in a couple different sizes and a couple different options. This one is the 4 inch painted version and the cost on this one is $50 and guys with the details and the craftsmanship it's just outstanding and worth every penny of that. But there is also a 2 inch option and you can get both sizes either painted or unpainted. And guys if you go with the painted version you have the option of what house colors you want for the scarf. So you can actually work with Crafty Nerd Designs and they will create exactly what you want. The 2 inch unpainted version is $25 and then if you get it painted it's $35. And then the 4 inch unpainted is $40. And again, painted just like this guy here, $50. And it's not the plastic 3D printing that you see. It is done with 3D printed resin. So he's good and solid. Of course, if you bump him around with resin, he is painted. He may chip off. I just noticed on the broom, it says Nimbus 2000 on there. So yes, even the tiny, tiniest little details on this guy are incredible. So super cute and killer, and yes, of course, on my scale of totally bad to totally rad, this one goes beyond totally rad, guys. It's just way too cute. And it's got feeties. The next item is that lithophane that I was talking about, and like I said, I had never heard of that before. So what the lithophane is, is it's 3D printed in various layers to let different amounts of light through. And when you first start looking at it, it doesn't look like much. It just looks like a basic white little votive. This is the votive version and they do come in two different sizes, three inch like this one and the five inch, but the magic happens when you actually turn on the little light that's inside. So yeah, you guys ready to see this? Guys, how awesome is that? It's our cute little Mattel the child on the votive. And then on the other side, it's Mando and little baby Yoda Grogu in the pram. 
These are really super cool and I am so in love with these. But look at the details, guys. Ah, I just, that is just so incredible and my mind is just totally blown. So yeah, you can't really see it real good with the light on, but this thing is beyond totally rad too. Guys, yep, I'm calling it. Since I've never seen anything like this before, I'm just totally ecstatic and love it so, so much. They also do different sizes of these. This one is the votive size and can be used as like a little night light. They also do one they call a lamp, so it's a little bit bigger and wider, and I think it might be a little bit curved, or they can do a cube shape. And they do photographs, like a little framed photograph that comes up with that detail like that. And they actually can do it from any picture that you send them. Well, maybe not any picture, but within reason, guys. But yeah, they can take personal photos and make one of these for you. Price on this one, the 3-inch votive is $12, the 5-inch votive is $20, and then it goes on up from there, and I think the most expensive I saw was like $35. Of course, if you want some customizable and special things done to it, they will definitely work with you on price, but guys, for the price on this and how really super killer that is, yeah, you can't beat it, and these would make awesome gifts, whether you get it with a little Grogu on it or use a personal photo. Is it time yet, Mom? Is it time? Is it time? Yes, little man, it is time. We are going to show everybody your lightsabers. Crafty Nerd Designs sent me actually two different lightsabers, and they have all kinds of variations in their lightsabers. So they wanted to send me a couple different ones to kind of show you guys what your options are. And one was specifically for Fisher that I had picked out. He wanted a certain color blade, we all know from the other video. And the other one is one of their other blade options. Fisher, you want to grab yours first? Yes, I will be right back, guys. Hold on. Fisher, where are you? What's taking so long? Here I am. I got it. I was having trouble grabbing it. But, guys, check it out. Check out my lightsaber. And it's blue, like my hair. Oh, you are so super cute with that. But can I take it so I can show these guys all the awesome details on it? Thank you, dude. I'm going to put you down for a minute so I can show them all the details, and then you can show them how it works, okay? Deal. So this is the little interactive custom lightsaber for Grogu. Now this isn't an official Star Wars design, it is just a fan design. But guys, this is what they imagined Grogu's lightsaber would look like. It's got the little mythosaur skull on it. It's got the little razor crest ball on the bottom. And of course your standard on-off switch for a lightsaber. And Fisher's signature blue blade. I know, everybody's like, oh, Baby Yoda's going to have a green lightsaber. But this is Fisher, not Grogu's. So Fisher wanted blue, so Fisher got blue. And yes, it does light up, guys. If you twist the top here, you can see it turns on. Let me turn the light down a little bit so you guys can see how awesome it glows. Look at that, guys. Isn't that really cool? Turning it on and off is really easy. You just actually untwist it just a little bit, and it still stays on there, but the light turns off for you. And it does more awesome things than that, guys. The little Razor Crest ball on the bottom, it's on there with a magnet, so you can actually take this off, and if you have magnets in the hands of your doll, they can actually hold the Razor Crest ball. And then it's got the little magnet on the bottom, and you just pop it right back on there. This part also unscrews, and guys, it's the little details in this that are just truly amazing. When you pull it out, it's got a little kyber crystal inside. How totally rad is that, guys? That's just, ah, it's so awesome and killer. Now, this one, as I mentioned, is the UV resin printed one. So that allows them to paint it with like a chrome metal type paint. So it looks a little bit more realistic and lifelike. However, these, you know, can ship and fade over time. So it's really not meant to be played with too roughly, but it is super cute. And we all know Fisher's really careful with his stuff. But Crafty Nerd Designs does have another option if you want one that you can kind of play around with or if you're giving it to somebody who's going to be a little bit more rough. So let me grab that one and show you that option. So this, guys, is the second saber, and this one also has the Mythosaur skull on it. It also has the detachable Razor Crest ball that's on there with a magnet. 
and it also has the kyber crystal inside but you'll notice the blade on this one is clear and there's a reason for that so we twist it and the light comes on and let me turn the lights down for you guys this one has a color changing light so that's really super cute. The only thing, it goes at different speeds, so sometimes it changes slowly and sometimes it blinks fast. And Crafty Nerd Design says this is Grogu's party mode saber. And yeah, guys, I can totally see that. This is, maybe we'll use it for 4th of July, New Year's Eve, but yeah, this will be the party saber and that's how it will be forever known now. Fisher's party saber. So same thing, turn it on and off just by twisting it and it does stay. Now this one is the PLA plastic and this one is printed in the colors. So it's printed in the blue and the silver, it is not painted. So this one's a little bit more lightweight but it can take a little bit more of a beating than the UV resin one. But both guys, beyond totally rad definitely beyond totally rad on those. So I showed you the two different ones, but there's many options for these guys. Again, you have the PLA plastic or the resin, you've got the clear blade, you've got the blue blade, or you've got, I think, green, red, yellow, and white on the blades. Now, if you get a colored blade, it's gonna have a white light inside so that it gives you the glow. This is made of kind of a see-through PLA plastic. If you get the clear blade, that's when you get the little strobing party saber, but both super cute. You can get any color blade on either one of these. So you could do the blue blade on this one. I did notice guys, they're not interchangeable. So if you buy one of each and wanna switch the blades, I wasn't able to do that. Crafty Nerd Designs, if I'm wrong about that and doing something wrong, let me know. But I believe the sizes of the threads are a little bit different. So you're not gonna be able to kind of switch this one with this one. Battery wise. I know you guys always are like, well, how do you change the batteries? It's actually really simple on these guys. The batteries in here, so if you actually untwist this all the way, you're going to see the little battery right here. Now be careful when you're doing that because the battery does pop out really easy, but it's just a little button cell battery and if it ever runs out, it can be changed. So that is awesome and good to know. Price wise on these, they start at $18 and go up to $45. 18 gets you the PLA plastic that is not assembled and you have to put it together. 45 gets you assembled and this resin one here with the blade, color your choice. And then there's a few prices in between. So, you know, quality wise guys, the prices on the shop are phenomenal. And yeah, I'm, I'm gonna say it again. I'm totally in love with this shop. I wanna marry it. And guys, one of the best things about this shop is they are offering my viewers a discount. Yes, and it's a good one too. It is 20% off. So in the video description, I will put a link that actually, if you click that link, it'll put the discount right in your cart. Or if you just want to visit the shop and then decide, the code is CRAFTYRAD. I'll put it right here, CRAFTYRAD, and you get 20% off. I asked if there was kind of an end time to that, and right now it's an indefinite discount. So guys, take advantage of it. They also offer if you buy four items or more, you get 25% off, and that's standard for everyone, not just our viewers. But okay guys, enough of the little chitty chat, enough of my little plane directing here down the runway. <laughs> I know, Fisher wants to show you guys how he works with this, and I'm actually, I mentioned doing a little upgrade on Fisher this coming weekend, and yeah, he's going to get magnets in his hand, so I'm going to find a good spot on this to place a magnet so he can actually look like he's holding his own little lightsaber but okay Fisher okay let me grab you dude so you can show off your little lightsaber skills all right guys are you ready I got some mad mad lightsaber skills okay okay they're not so mad mad but I'm working on it and I'm learning I'm just a little dude but here's my lightsaber and you take it and it's like boom 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 and yes, you don't use it as a weapon, you just use it to defend yourself, guys. I love my lightsaber so, so much, and I can't wait to get the magnets in my hands so I can hold it a little bit better. Well, I'm glad you love your little lightsaber, dude. It's like the perfect size. I mean, look, it fits in his hands perfectly, and looking at it next to him, it is the perfect little Mattel the Child Grogu-sized lightsaber. So these are totally fantastic, beyond totally rad, and I love them again so, so much. 
And I mentioned I'm going to do the little upgrade with the magnets in his hands and a couple other little fun things. That'll be a video coming up soon, so stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, if you liked this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more awesome and totally rad things in the future, please subscribe to our channel and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss seeing us. And I guess there's only one thing left to say, right little dude? We'll see you later.